If you've cruised before, I know you made this mistake. But don't you worry because I'm going to give you some pro tips on how to avoid this big mistake. And coming in as another big mistake that most cruisers make is eating at the buffet on embarkation day. <gasps> I know that we have all done this. I mean, you don't even think about it. You board the ship, go to the leader deck, and flock with all the other cruisers to the buffet for lunch. It is considered almost an embarkation day routine, that's obviously fine, keep doing if that's what you really want, but when you're waiting in long lines and trying to juggle your tray, your kids, and also your carry-on, it's far from being relaxing, especially since you have to search endlessly for that elusive empty table. Oh man. But don't worry because you can get away from that overly crowded and loud area and enjoy a nice embarkation meal. My pro tip here is I suggest doing a bit of cruise line research to determine if your ship has other venues open for lunch on embarkation day, because I bet they do. Sometimes it might be a poolside cantina or a casual cafe on a lower deck that is also serving a midday meal. An extra perk is that you'll find a more quiet, less crowded, and peaceful dining experience so you can reduce the stress to the start of your seaside vacation. And if you do decide to brave the buffet, then I suggest scoping out a table first, or you can opt to board later in the day after your room has been cleared to be open for all the passengers. And that way you can snag your plate and head off to some peace and quiet in your room. <sighs> okay, and now you can click up here so you can learn more about other big mistakes most cruisers make and how to fix them. Until next time, bon voyage!